I am a cheapskate. That's why this new RC car doesn't come in a retail box. I don't think I could do that again, could I? Voila. Quite often when you order stuff off AliExpress, it gives you the option of just a foam box rather than a retail box. And it saves you a little bit of money. Only a little bit, but every little helps. Right, I'm going, I'm going to chuck this in the landfill. <laughs> I'll recycle it and use it for something else. Anyway, this is the new HyperGo from MJX. Oh, that looks a nicer red than in the photos. That's like a candy red. That's nice. Although MJX as a company isn't that new, their venture into RC cars is relatively new. And I think we saw them at the beginning of maybe last year and they have given us some absolute perlers. Their bashers are super tough, they're fast. And then more recently, they brought out a couple of street bashers. Rather than the plastic honeycomb chassis, you've got this metal chassis on these one. Really good quality oil shocks, super fast, super fun. This one, as far as videos go, it's one of the most popular on my channel. And it deserves to be, because this thing's awesome. Anyway, this new basher is a combination of their like older buggies, but with the metal chassis that's on the street going ones. It feels, it just feels really good and substantial. As with most stuff in the box, you get a set of instructions, pretty bog standard HyperGo transmitter. I think it's three channel. You've got the on off switch. If you push it all the way forward, that's 100%. But if you put it in the middle, it reduces it to 70%. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> what happened there? So we'll slow it down for beginners. As you saw, trying to roll off. Comes with these like really knobbly off-road tires and a little less aggressive tread on these ones. I don't know whether the offset's different as well. The offset might be slightly different. They're definitely uh, wider as well. You get a charger, a screwdriver and a wheel wrench. And then you get some springs, which I don't know if they're harder or softer. I'll have to have a look. I'd have a look on the box, but I didn't get mine with a retail box. Looking at the ones fitted, I reckon these ones are harder. And then this is the truck. It looks very nice. LED lights there on the front. You also got a roof bar, as you've seen, nice chunky tires. And then the optional ones, which are taller, wider, and they might stick out a bit more as well. Just a single driver in there. Spare wheel on the back. I don't know if there's any lights at the back there. I can't see any. Looks like it's got a roll cage and stuff in there. It's got a really nice stance about it. Suspension feels good. They usually do a good job of the suspension. I've yet to have one that's got really bad suspension on it. They do a good job. They have the oil field, yeah, oil field adjustable dampers. Yeah, so it looks like just the front lights and the roof bar. There's no lights connected to the rear. You can see there the internal cage. It's gonna give it a bit of protection. Got a battery in here. These are actually really good batteries. This is a 2S 3000 milliamp hour. I've got one of these from one of the other cars and I use it in my crawlers. Really good size um, and they got a good capacity on them as well. And the name on there, Angry Snail. <laughs> a good size battery tray there. It will also run on 3S. Comes with a 2S. I think you can get an option of buying it with a 3S LiPo as well. And this thing will rip on 3S, I am sure. There's your brushless motor in there. I'll put the specs on the screen because obviously I haven't got the box to have a look at it, but. There's your brushless motor, there's your brushless ESC. Motor's got a fan, ESC's got a fan on it as well. Receiver box up top there, that is on a chassis brace. There's your servo, looks like a waterproof one because it's sealed on the side there. Adjustable toe, doesn't look like you can adjust the camber. Non-adjustable at the rear. Has got double wishbone suspension front and rear. Big chunky metal CVDs up front. This will have bearings all round. It's actually got CVDs at the rear which is not usually needed because that's for turning but at least they're probably interchangeable so it might make it cheaper for spares obviously all your gears are in there i'm not sure if it's an adjustable motor mount metal diffs there's your center drive shaft there oil shocks that we spoke about adjustable collars on them 
So you can adjust your ride height and stuff. And yeah, I'm confident they're harder springs. Metal chassis, it looks really well set up. Front bumper, not really much more to say about it. I think we need to charge up this 2S. We need to also charge a 3S. See how fast it is on two, see how fast it is on three. And then take it for a little rip. Right then, 2S run first. Stock battery. Oh, these things rip, even on 2S. They're so good. 2S pass, that's full throttle straight away. One more pass, just for luck. Signal's not too bad on this transmitter. Oh, this thing, suspension's so nice on it. 27 mile an hour, not bad. Right, let's go 3S. Right then, this is where it gets crazy. 3S, steering's very twitchy. That is full throttle. Oh, it's not too bad, actually. Once it's up to speed. <laughs> Curb, full throttle. Let's do a close pass. These usually go wrong. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> That's got to be over 40. Oh, nearly 39. I've got a way to get over 40 though, I think. The spare wheels and tyres it comes with are slightly bigger and that is going to gear us up a little bit. Bigger wheels, more speed. 40 mile an hour, let's go. This is fast. <laughs> car, car. Definitely a wheelie machine now. <laughs> that is insane. Da, 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 da. Yeah, 42 mile an hour. Right, we're going to keep these wheels on because where we're going, we need that extra clearance and we need that extra tread. It's an off-road buggy, so we're off-road. Back to 2S. <laughs> it's a little ripper. <laughs> this terrain gives that suspension a good workout, that's for sure. Yeah, whoop. I can't say enough about these little MJX things. <laughs> Not only are they tough, they're always little rippers. This is a really harsh terrain for it, but I know that it'll take it. It will take it all day long. So once you've done your off-road, once you've done your speed running, <laughs> you have to bring it to a skate park. <laughs> that way you're guaranteed to break something. <laughs> well, not all the time, but it does increase your chances of breakage. If you do prefer skate parks, oh, I'd recommend one of their like monster truck ones with a plastic chassis. This one, although I'm sure it's tough, it's not quite a skate park buggy, if you know what I mean. Oh, so I've left the optional wheels on because I thought it might give me a bit more rotation and control because they're bigger and they balloon a little bit. Gives you a little bit more air control, but as you can hear, it does uh, chassis slap quite a bit. Slow in, fast out. I don't know how to do it with the stock wheels, but optional wheels, not a problem. What a beast. So it looks like it's living up to the MJX reputation. Fast, tough, and well, Loads of fun. Wah! Not doing a durability test on this, I'm just having fun with it.
I think these are priced really well, but if this is still a little bit over budget, then you've got options like this. Although not branded MJX, it is actually made by MJX. And this is one of their more budget friendly buggies. This has still got oil shocks, metal gears. You're getting a brushless motor, a hard case battery, and you also get a more aggressive off-road wheel and tire as well with this one. It's got that tough chassis I was talking about. And these drive really well, and it's not a bad speed on 2S. The only downside to this one is it won't run 3S. However, for the money, it's a decent buy. This little thing takes a kick in. Absolute kick in. Front flips are deadly, aren't they? Oh, that took that. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Catch. <laughs> Yay. Couldn't do that with an X Max, could you? <laughs> threading the needle. This is called threading the needle. Ready? It's we're gonna, whip it, we're gonna do a little a little matrix whip through the gap. <laughs> whip! Oh, nearly. Yeah. I don't think it would it actually go through. It probably would, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. You do need to film in the um, racing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.